One of our Allen ISD staff goals is to provide quality internal and external customer service. As part of that effort, I'd like to highlight examples of outstanding customer service that are happening right here in Allen ISD. I hope you will take a few minutes to enjoy and hopefully share these stories about staff members going above and beyond to serve our students, our community, and our parents. with Wellness Wednesday News. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday to each of you. We have many exciting announcements today. Some of the foods that we eat that can be very healthy for us actually look like the body part that it helps. So, the first one we're going to talk about is walnuts. And if you can see here, the walnut has two hemispheres just like your brain. My name is Tiffany Glover. I'm the nurse at Evans Elementary School. The school opened in 2008 and um, a position was open. That was the same year my oldest daughter started kindergarten and I um, was drawn to be a part of the public school environment as my children entered the school system. So I left the hospital at that time and um, started working here in the school. and. That was eight years ago, and it has gone by so fast, but it has been very rewarding. There was just a realization that kind of happened that first year that um, although I do administer medications to help manage health conditions, um, really this isn't a treatment-focused environment. Um, I'm here more to help educate and prevent, more on the front end instead of the back end of health. Janice Harrop, I'm DT teacher at Evans Elementary. I was a third grade teacher here at Evans Elementary a few years ago, and at the time I had a student in my room that was having quite a few issues um, that related to the bathroom. He was um, didn't really have control at all times, and it created a uh, huge issue for him in my classroom, as well as for the other students and for me as a teacher. I realized, you know, I'm I'm just here as a um, a service to the teachers. You know, I'm here to support them to take care of these children while they're here getting an education, and I'm also here to serve the families. I was able to really take the uh, attention off of him and just make a call to Tiffany, and she would come and take care of that for me so that I could work with the students in the role that I really was supposed to be doing, which was teaching. She was, um, she was there to help with the self-esteem issue, the medical issue, and to guide the parents on what steps to take to be able to support their child to get him through this medical issue. Uh, my name is Martha Rodriguez. Uh, I have uh, two daughters in Evans Elementary. Gabriela is um, in fifth grade right now, and Mariana is in sixth grade. Uh, my daughter Mariana has a condition um, a problem in her skin, her, um, he has eczema, but this eczema was very severe. In a very fast uh, period of time, it became full face eczema. I started going to doctors, and um, when she started the school year, she already had her whole body covered with eczema. She was having a lot of difficulty sleeping because of the itching and we were undergoing a lot of treatments and tests with her, with the specialists. Nurse Tiffany called me and uh, we met there in the school with Ms. Rasmussen and we, um, she, she suggested to make like a plan to help her overcome uh, those um, struggles she was having to be on time to school for her first uh, class and to be uh, with the other kids like during recess or during um, lunch time. 
So Nurse Tiffany was all this time with, you know, walking with us. She was very kind with her. She encouraged her to be brave and to continue going. Once I realized the focus of this practice in this environment and how I could impact families and kids in a different way than I impacted them in the hospital, um, that's when I realized what my, my true focus was. Nurse Tiffany was amazing with us, a great support and I'm really very happy to have her in our school.